Welcome in and welcome back everybody. Doing another boat fail video today. Hopefully I found us another good one, but you know the drill. We'll find out here in a minute. Um, thanks for stopping by and saying hi. So, you know, if you like the channel, think about hitting them buttons. Greatly appreciate it. And as always, the link for the video without my ugly face or my annoying voice on here is in the description below. So check it out there if uh, you're tired of hearing me talk about it. I'm not an expert, of course. I'm just uh, somebody who spends a lot of time around boats, so I'm hoping to have a little bit of fun, maybe provide a little bit of insight. With uh, with all that being said, let's just go ahead and get into it, see what kind of trouble these guys get in. She's going to fall over. She's going to go right over the other side. Oh, man. Yeah, the one who's standing there might have been able to help, you know, put her hand down there. Uh, stop, help stop it from tipping, but <laughs> either way, poor lady. Um, I see that happen a lot with kayaks, so I kind of seen it coming. Got a bunch of crap stuck in his impeller, so he's got to pull it out. <laughs> ah, his buddy got him good, man. <laughs> Buddy went under there, messed with him a little bit, man. That's that's a good one. That's a good. One. He got him good. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, trying to you got to get all that crap out of your impeller. It ain't gonna work no more. That's why you don't want to run over a bunch of grass or a bunch of dirt, rocks, anything like that when you're uh, when you're riding close to shore on a jet ski. That motor doesn't sound great as he's clicking it. Back and forth from forward to reverse. But it ain't gonna work if you leave it out of the water and it, especially if you're revving it up when it's out of the water like that. You're just you're asking for it to overheat and ruin something. That poor guy's getting hit in the face with all that water right now. Um not sure if this is a drill or training exercise. Or if this is even a military tank, that's what it looks like. It looks like a tank, but I don't know for sure. This dude's a savage. <laughs> Closes it up and goes right back in there. Like, I doubt that that's a closed, sealed system. And now it's even worse because it's got a bunch of ice on top of them. But, man, that's nuts. Those guys are savages, man. Those guys are savages. Ooh. So, I'm trying not to stop these as much as I usually do to talk about stuff but I just want to put this into perspective a little bit you know that that ship is massive right you could obviously tell there's a storm a little bit of rain a little bit of wind and uh, the way how heavy that freaking boat is you know that thing rocking a little bit is going to shift that weight and um, you know it doesn't always work out with the, the type of ropes that they're using here um so one thing I just wanted to point out, they are using more like a softer rope, um, something that doesn't store a lot of potential energy. So like if they were using, let's say, wire ropes or something like that, that'll store a lot more potential energy. So if it snaps like that, instead of it just dropping down quick without a lot of back pressure, um, those things will s like swing around like a whip or swing back like a whip. Um, like if that was a metal one and it swung around to the left a little bit of where it was tied up, I mean, that thing could have easily just destroyed that entire golf cart. And if somebody was in there, possibly killed them easily. But, um, at least they are using a better type of rope, which then a lot of that stored energy is gone as soon as that thing breaks and it just drops to the ground. So, but yeah, just think about how much weight that is in order to break those things. Um, it's incredible. <clears throat> yeah, it's <that's> nuts. <clears throat> um, definitely in the shallows. I don't like them being that close to the motor. Um, but it doesn't look like the motor's on. They're getting a little help from the jet ski. Uh, hopefully they can get off that area there. Well, no, he does have the motor running because he's kicking up dirt right next to that guy. I do not recommend that at all. If you can get off of there without using your motor, great, because you got all those people right there next to your motor. So, please, if you can avoid it, do not stand next to a motor that is spinning. 
Um, if the jet ski's getting them out, cool. If you got people pushing your boat, cool. But choose one. Either you let the jet ski pull and you use the motor, or you let the jet ski pull and you have those people help push you out. You don't need one of those pe persons, peoples or persons, getting hurt because you decided to run the motor while they were helping and you were getting pulled off. Just my suggestion. And this clip, kind of a dick move, you know. There ain't nobody else out in the water. And these guys are sitting here fishing. And you're going to drive by like a dick, bro? Come on. That's just messed up. Where's your etiquette at, man? Like, that's just... That's just wow. you being a dick on wow. purpose. <laughs> not not a very good uh, showing. You know? Uh, not very nice of you. And then another guy zooming through the no wake. Messing everything up. Rocking the boat, so to speak. There's no reason for you to be going that fast, man. There, unless you have some emergency you're trying to get to. There's really no reason you need to be going that fast. There's there's posted no wake signs and speed limits in these areas for a reason. And this person's over here messing around, probably intoxicated. Uh, ruining everybody else's day. I just, I don't like it. It's a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> Can't complain. It's a nice view. What are these people doing? Is that a runaway boat? Oh, brother. Brother. Yeah, runaway boat. Doesn't look like anybody's on it. And that thing smashed the heck out of that boat. Holy mother. Oh. <laughs> That whale just sneezed on you, lady. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, though. Good experience to see a whale like that. Now, this, whatever this is, is badass. Um, kind of looks like a cruise ship, but not. Um, very expensive vessel. I mean, I would love to have something like this, man. I would just go park that somewhere and live on it for the rest of my life. That is sick. That'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, that thing's badass. Very, very, very expensive, but badass. It's the floating party, man. I'd love to hang out on that thing. That thing looks awesome. All right, all right. So another one bites the dust. We got through another video. And uh, those of you that are still here, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you to the moon, you know. Um, so thank as always, thanks for stopping by and saying hi. Hopefully uh, you hung out and had fun with me. And um, yeah, so thanks for thanks for being here. You know, think about leaving some suggestions. You got some videos you want me to check out. You like the longer ones. You like the shorter ones. You don't like them at all. <laughs> Let me know, man. I'd appreciate it either way. But uh, without too much more here, I just want to say thank you again. And uh, hopefully all of you have a very blessed day. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.